another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching the vampire diaries this is episode one of season eight that does mean this is the final season and we finito we done and dusted goodbye and you know what as much as i'm really happy obviously that we'd start in this season i'm very sad honestly because most on my channel pretty much on my channel yeah i've dabbled in series here and there and obviously i never planned on uploading the vampire diaries I only done that from recommendations from you guys and that has pretty much been predominantly my channel for the whole of 2021 and um, that's where everybody's obviously joined subscribed and obviously everybody's coming back joining the patreon liking the videos and all that so it's going to be a sad day when we finish and uh, you know maybe this is the last time people jump onto the patreon and obviously um subscribe to watch it because um you might want to jump over and find some new uh, reactors to go and support and you know what that's great that's fine totally totally fine honestly i love every single person that's coming over here and um you know leaving your positive comments and then if you want to dive over there and help somebody else you know what i support that all the way in you know i really appreciate all the support that you show me and um i'll be uh, really happy if a new and upcoming person as well who's just starting fresh out the box can go over there and get your opinions as well so i can't wait like i said thanks so much for supporting the channel from episode one to whatever episode we're on now i know like really this is like the longest show i probably ever watched or close anyway i think 24 with Kiefer sutherland is the longest show i've technically watched because i think it's like 45 minutes or one hour per episode and um i think it's 195 episodes and this is pushing on 171 I'm not too sure how many Pretty Little Lies has got as well, but that's ticking up as well. But it's definitely in the top three of most watched minutes of programs that I've watched. And, uh, you know, I thoroughly uh, enjoyed every second of it. So let's hope the final season is just as good. I've also had it expressed to me that the, uh, the name, the title of each episode um, is expressed by a character throughout the whole of the series. And uh, we're going to try and guess who it was that said it. Now, um this one's called hello brother and i feel like that's definitely damon but then it could throw a spanner in the works and say stefan but i'm gonna go with damon and was it episode one when he come in and he was in the window and uh the mistress and he was like hello brother you know I i'm saying and that is the moment that he said it uh he's probably said it other times as well but that's the moment i'm going for i'm gonna say it was damon that said the intro title to this episode so thanks so much for clicking my video hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do smash the like and the button it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into the final season of the vampire diaries let's hope it is a good one why do you drag me to these dumb superhero movies there's too many i can't keep track of who's who well, to be honest, I'm just glad the whole vampire craze is over. First of all, let me applaud you on your quick Forgetting out. Yeah. The way you just whipped by me was impressive. I mean, I thought we'd go with the old guy in the road standby, and you almost got biased. We could use a ride. Come on. I'll drive. Our job is to bring the worst of humanity, the dregs of life, and bring them here. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? I've been my best friend's boyfriend. What's the worst thing you've ever done? One time I stole my Nana's pain pills and sold them for 50 bucks <laughs> while she was dying of cancer. Oh, I think we have up. a winner. You get to die the most painful, excruciating death imaginable. And me? You'll die quick. <laughs> Easy, my friend. No. Oh, God, no. Sometimes we have to do things we don't like. I don't have a choice. Oh, Wanna watch some TV? I'm just gonna read for a little while. Night. Night, mate. Good night. Man, that's mental. What a start. Imagine if, right, you've never watched The Vampire Diaries before. That's what I think, right? I know this is the last season, but if you had never watched the show before and it was the first time clicking on it and you had that as an introduction, you'd be like, oh, man, I'm going to stick around to see what's going on next. That's my personal opinion anyway. I thought it was so interesting. You didn't even have to know who Damon was or Renzo was. You just had to look at the situation and think, bloody hell, man, that's interesting. And do you know what? Imagine in real life if somebody found that crime scene. It would be absolutely crazy. Imagine walking in just seeing all bodies dangling from the ceiling it would be mental it gives me a proper proper mad 
like I, I don't know how Dexter vibe, even though Dexter obviously don't go around stabbing people. I just feel like that's what it is. Walk through the sheets, take your bot person and kill them. Do you know what I mean? Cut them up. It's mad. I'm really excited, honestly. I think that Damon and Enzo are gonna have a sick season. Dear Elena, for the next week you'll be reading updates from me. Caroline Stefan and I decided that only one person should have to write about our epic failure. And we're no closer to knowing where they are, or who, or what took them. It's just you and me talking right now, and I need to tell you. It's the hardest thing I've had to do in my whole life. Let me save you from yourself. <laughs> How can you love such a terrible guitar player? Because one day you'll play like a siren. Then she cut their sandwiches into the shapes of little hearts and stars. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Just saying, old lady nanny, then my kids wouldn't be wasting perfectly good parts of the sandwich. Sounds like you're worried she's getting sparkly with Rick. He's eating the sandwich crusts. I love the crust. What I mean is, he's susceptible to hot nanny charms. I'm going back over all the central state missing persons reports for the last four weeks. Maybe they will be better. Stefan, they found a body. All those people that we've been tracking, and now there's a body that's good, right? I blew through Caroline's Monday to-do list. Anything else you need? Uh, just one more of you. Any chance you're a doppelganger? You got something? We got something. I told you, it's just a theoretical exercise. I've been running this place for only a couple months now, and I just want to know all about its nooks and crannies. Did you spill any secrets? There are no secrets to spill. I told you, this is just a theoretical, theoretical exercise. So, my cousin had this thing. She lost her hearing and eyesight real young, but she became brilliant at finding her way around. All right, now you're gonna let your fingers do the walking. Oh, yes! Oh. oh yes. Ah, oh, mate. Oh, is he gonna walk into Damon? I, I want to play it out. Uh, I'm gonna play it out. Oh no, it's Enzo. I'm gonna stop it. Mate, how sick was that? Like, honestly, that's it's got me well excited. It actually has. You know what? I'm so excited that Caroline and Stefan are together. I understand. I totally understand the direction we had to go last season. Caroline was pregnant in real life. It just had to play out like that. It was fine. Like, I'm totally all for her coming back in with with um, with Stefan. Really excited. I mean. It, Rick taking over the armory, mate. Is he acquired that building? The guy's rich as f now, literally, and he's got loads of little people working with him. Looks like a big bad boss, mate. It's well good, and they've just said then. Obviously, use your senses to go around. They've gone gone through the wall now. Another thing that I, that I find interesting with that is have you, there's a video on YouTube. I think it's on YouTube of a kid who's blind, and he walks around and he clicks, and he clicks like this. He's got his oh, obviously he's got his eyes shut. He's blind. And, mate, the guy can hear where sounds bounce off things and he knows exactly where to walk. If you put a little thin, narrow thing like that, he can walk, he's exactly in and out of cars and all that. It's mental. People are so clever how they adapt to the situations that they get put in. It is crazy. And, well, do you know what? I'm really excited. These new characters that they dived in already, that, that guy and that girl and the nanny seem to give me positive vibes. I don't know if they're going to be in the show, but they just give off really positive vibes. He wants real evil, not these lightweight losers we've been feeling it. How long is this bad guy slaughter going to last? Is he reading Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on full cruise control. So you really have nothing left inside? Just my winning sense of humor and renewed appreciation for chick lit. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh. Gotta say, right, those Fifty Shades of Grey books are pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're better than the films anyway, if you'd never never read it, <laughs> I definitely would. I have to treat every single clue like it's the one that's gonna lead us to them. Stefan, every time we do this, I let myself hope a little. If you give up, I won't have anything left to hold on to. It's an optical illusion. You can't see or hear your way out. Your sense of touch has to be Whoa. completely isolated. Hey. Some guy named Pete from Sound dropped this off for you a few minutes ago. Thank you. No problem. This is a work movie that Mommy's been waiting for. And that is Princess Virginia St. John. Only one in the whole kingdom who knows the secrets of the creature we're looking for. Oh. Go out! What was that back there? I've never seen an archaeologist afraid to explore a tunnel. Dad, me. You know, I like to avoid dangerous situations. Mate, they'd be buzzing. Imagine that like, this is your job, you'd be absolutely buzzing, wouldn't you, if you found something? Looks like a gig going there. Yo, man, if you found that, you would be absolute rich, mate. You would be so rich. Do you know what, actually, my question is, if you found that, is it yours? 
Or is it the world? And that sounds daft, but I think you definitely get what I'm getting at. I think it would be the world, would it not? Would like a a government, a museum, a national geographic, whatever society come take it and like examine it and acquire it as, as theirs and display it in like museums. But then I'd be like, no, 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 no chance, mate. That's mine. Like, <laughs> but I went out in my garden and dug up right a big massive gold mine or something from like five million years ago. And someone tried to come over and just take it and say, it's mine. I'd be like, I don't think it is, mate. It's on my land. It's mine. <laughs> so it'd be interesting, but that is mad. Like it looks like whatever it is, I'm going to call him Gollum. He's, he's been like acquiring stuff over the time. I, I'm really fascinated. Why is it living in that water? And it, it, was it clean water? And now it's all blood because they've been throwing bodies in. And uh, they definitely said they're after bad people. And the people that they're bringing them now are not that bad. They're just bringing them for the sake of feeding them when they're actually out for the bad guys. So that's interesting. And Enzo doesn't look like he's fully committed like Damon. I think Damon said he turned his humanity off where Enzo hasn't. Four hours to get control of the scene from the local idiots. Now they're letting press pass the tape. We're not press. But tell us what you know. Drangled, then exsanguinated. <laughs> Maybe vice versa. Cars dented. Like shit a deer. Maybe a mountain lion. It's not fire. Fire. Guitar string. Oh. There was a news story about this area a couple months ago. Some locals cried miracle when a nearby creek ran red with blood. Oh, Slaughterhouse with a drainage issue nearby. Hey, I'm walking out the door right now. Oh, no, no rush. You're not late yet. The girls are playing hide and seek. Only where they both hide and no one seeks. The front door just blew open. Caroline, someone's in the house. Oh, she's dead. Oh, fucking hell, it's this woman. What a twist. I was like, that girl's giving me good vibes. Dead mate. Dead and gone. Didn't expect that woman at all to to appear there. Is she a vampire? If she is, my god, like how she transitioned. If she's not, how is she that fast? How is she that silent? Secondly, I should have put it two and two together, man. Caroline did say in you know she was in the like Queen the High Tower or something, and now she's gone missing, and now she's appearing. I'm well fascinated. Literally, I'm so excited. She's like fucking Kai two point oh mate. Oh, yes, Caroline. Don't move. She's gone. Come on. Dorian's oh, bringing more interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't touch that. Let's just leave everything alone. I mean, if everything has been undisturbed for as long as I think it has, I'd hate to expose these artifacts until we seal the space. Your geek brain makes you super hot. Pretty much closed for business. You know, it's just me and my kids and no distractions. Oh. It's a shame. I had to try. Sexy dark tunnel, magical room, etc. Mate, that girl's good looking. She's good looking. I feel like she's a big actress, you know, and I'm definitely saying that out loud now, right? I better click on it and this is her only show that she's ever been in. I feel like I've seen her before. Do you know what's funny as well? People some people are into different things, aren't they, man? Like like literally. Some people are into like big hairy people, some are dead skinny people, athletic people, rich people, you know, people who like are just general like religious people, caring people. People are into nerds and people into geeks, people are into like mad stuff, like I, it, it's like that me. She's like he's geeking out and all that artifacts, and she's loving it. It's like um it, it reminded me of the episode of uh in what was it called? Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, where uh, Captain Holt has to take somebody to uh, to a place, and he's talking about barrels, and he, he's talking about a barrel for two hours, trying to distract this guy, and the guy starts getting well turned on. He's like, "Oh, you seduce me!" It's like me. The guy's talking about a, a barrel of beer like for two hours, but it's it's mad. It's funny. I, I just love it. It got me. It, I'm really excited after this episode. It's like candle wax. I'm on my way. What? Damon. Hello, brother. Oh, there it is. What was in that vault, Damon? What has a hold of you? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter what has me. Only that I've been had. Surrounded by death. That's who we are, brother. That's who we've been for 160-something years. Yeah, I can help you get your humanity back. I know you can, and I don't want it. Humanity can't save me from it. I'm talking about hell, brother. Not the kind of hell that traps you in a stone. You need to go. It doesn't want you yet. After a good night's sleep? should wake up none the wiser. Why do I always forget that you have to have vampire blood in your system before you die? <clears throat> yes, Caroline. I said, wake up. You let them open the vault. It has come for them. What she is it die? with my children? <clears throat> oh my God. You absolute, oh, I can't believe you just done that. 
I just kill a Caroline. She has no use for you no more, mate. Literally, she's just a liability now. Just fucking take her out. That's it. She's done for. She's useless. <laughs> That's literally it. You useless woman. Get away. That's literally what I'd be like. I'd take her out. Now, he's come for them. Is that Joe? And Elizabeth? Is that who it's come for? I'm, I'm proper intrigued. Real, really, really. Always forget that you have to have vampire blood in your system before you die, before you transition. I always get excited when they die and they feed them. Like, yeah, mate, transitioning. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Fucking okay, hell, eight seasons in, still forget. Oh, let's see if Bonnie can, like, get it to Enzo. I ripped the switch off the wall. There is no switch, Stefan, because there is no hope. Get him in the car while I find Enzo. We have to leave. It's not safe. Oh, bloody hell, didn't expect that. You need to leave now, Stefan. Oh, it's like he's got his switch on. Till we meet again, Bob. Mm. Don't you two get it? You think you can win against this thing? My life is over. My life has been over for a century and a half, Stefan. I live 30 minutes away in a crappy apartment. I'm just too far away to help you out. We can't live together. I didn't say I thought you should stay. This is my childhood home. <laughs> where am I supposed to go? You know exactly where you should go. I said it, mate. The guy literally listened to what I was saying last season, didn't he? He was definitely watching these videos, like, before, honestly. He's like, I tell you what, give some good advice, that guy, man. Like, both of them split out, live near each other, both get custard there, both involved in the kids' lives. I love it. And he wants Caroline to be happy as well. And he wants to be happy as well with somebody else. Maybe that girl in the tunnel. Who knows? She seems like she's got good vibes, good banter. And she's pretty, so I'm all for it. But literally, I love it. Definitely listen to that advice. And what was interesting, he was like, yeah, I want to live in your house, mate. You can go away. You know what I mean? Like, But 30 minutes away is far. Like, I, I was saying, Rick, you need to be next door. Do you know what I mean? You, you took it a little bit to the extreme, but at least you come back now. So that's interesting. Again... I feel like Enzo might shine this season. I'm hoping he does. You know, we've definitely... If I try and go through the characters that I, I've give like, my most likes, it's definitely been Damon a few times. I know Stefan's won it one time. Elena's definitely won it. Caroline's won it. You know, so I think... Um, I've definitely given it to four different people, my favourite characters, throughout the seasons. Um, and I feel like I would love, absolutely love it, if Enzo could shine in the final one. The fact that he's doing these bad things, but with his mental state in the right place, Damon's definitely lost. He's, he's, he's lost his control or whatever it is is possessing him. Enzo's got it kind of under control and he's going along with it. That's what it seems like. Help Stefan go away. Give Bonnie the eyes. Interesting. Please have a great season, Enzo. You had one, a good one last season. You weren't in it loads, but when you was in it, you was good. And hopefully we can finish out absolutely solid. Instead of the guitar string, the odometer. Enzo left them for me. Next time we'll get them back from whatever it is that has a hold of them. He said it was my fault. Oh, that's what got him. This time it feels like you may never forgive me. Maybe you were right this morning. No. Oh, here we go. This is right. Told me there was hope. Pull yourself together and go find yours. His acting looks really good there, man. He looks like he's deaf or broken. Have you really never read the Odyssey? Is that the one with Helen of Troy? The sirens lured the sailors into shore with their song before they ate them. I would brave the oceans and sail past the sirens to find my way back to you. I took a large round of whack, added up small, oh. sharp sword. They then bound me hand and foot, standing me up by the step of the ship's mast. Done that to her on the car. The I am a fan of the homegrown art community. You really enjoy exploring the themes of sin and redemption. It only takes one bad day, one bad decision, and then it doesn't matter what you do with the rest of your life. Oh, every victim needs a monologue. My friend here and I have a particularly innate sense of smell, not to mention an immense appreciation for blood. Care to explain to my friend and I why you are indeed painting with human blood? A little surprised by our family visit tonight. I thought you said we were covering our tracks. It can get in your head. And if it knows what you care about, you care for it can see nothing. Yeah. If you care for nothing, it can see nothing. So that's kind of like him being like, you know, I've got this turned off. It can't go after my loved ones because I'm I'm purposely holding it back. Okay, now loads of twists and turns. What did that guy whisper to Enzo? Who buys a paint with human blood? I'm literally so excited. I need to get me Stefan ring on. Look, I've got it here. Should I put it on for the rest of this episode? Boom, let's go, Stefan. All I can do is hope that there's one small piece of his mind tucked away someplace safe. I know, Bonnie. You're right. You and my mom both are. I just can't bring myself to tell him. I'm Elena. Elena. I don't know how much longer I can fight. Wow, it's changed the words. 
Maybe tomorrow will be better. Hey, so I've been thinking, you alone in this big house. <laughs> I wonder if you'd like someone else to fill it. Come on. Uh, someone would be me. Anyway. <laughs> here. Yes, Stefan. Oh, a wedding for these on the final episode. That's what I'm calling for. There are different origin stories. I mean, all the legends are based in the same idea. I don't know what to think anymore. I suppose every story has to start somewhere. <laughs> With their high clear song, the sirens bewitch him. The bodies I saw. The clues Enzo left. He wants us to help him fight it. Oh my god, mate. Oh wait, it's a female. Ah. Oh. Don't know who that is. I'm fucking loving it. You know what? I think this is one of the best episodes that I've had in ages. I think it was just like a hooked you all the way. To me, anyway, personally. I thought it was what a great, like, literally episode. Like I said at the very start, if you've never watched The Vampire Diaries before, first time ever clicking the channel and you was watching it, you was hooked on that first part. That it pulled you in, it would make you want to, want to see more. And I think the rest of the episode didn't disappoint me. The whole time it was engaging, it was getting, it was giving you character bonding of everybody, building relationships, but like cooking you between them. Like the chemistry between Rick and that new girl, for example. The, the, the new guy, uh, the archaeologist or whatever and the girl they had good like vibrant personalities as well it hooked us on this uh on the nanny because caroline dropped it in oh i might be scared that uh well uh, what is it stefan said oh you might be scared that rick's falling for her and then she gets killed and then you're like what and then like she saves her and then obviously you're like well is rick liking the nanny or is rick liking this archaeologist Do you know what i mean and then it's like obviously this girl comes back the one that knows um well the saint john she gets killed she bites her own tongue out and kills herself. She went after the kid. She said, oh, she's coming. I'm assuming it's this person that's coming. Enzo seems to be not as hooked as it is on Damon. Damon's turned... So I thought, you know, like, oh, Damon was a bad guy there. And, like, Enzo, he's trying to do the right thing. But then you listen to something that Damon says. Turn it off, mate. Then she can't see what you're doing. Then she can't go after the ones you love. And it's like, what, mate? Is he, is he doing it out of, like... Because he wants to be savage or is he doing it to protect people? All these questions so many answers that are we're waiting to go caroline with stefan let's get a marriage going new girl coming in right at the very end is she the devil who knows oh really really excited okay so that is gonna wrap up episode one of the final season of the vampire diaries and i think it was a fantastic episode i actually really enjoyed it i'm not even just saying that just for the for the banter of it like i actually it was i was hooked me all the way through it now this book that bonnie was reading that Enzo was dropping all the clues from the odyssey is that what she called it is that a real book because if it is i want to read it i do enjoy reading my books like i said Damon was reading the Fifty Shades of Grey ones in this, and I've read them, and I thought it was actually decent, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I know it's a very strange book to read, but I actually read most things that people recommend. If some people say it's good, I'm like, boom, mate, let's go and have a read that. Like I said, read the Harry Potter's sick books. Obviously, the films are amazing as well. And this, the Odyssey, now I'm sure I've heard something like that before. I've definitely never read it. And if it is a book and it's doing this mad stuff inside it, ah, mate, I can't wait to read it. Now, obviously, Enzo, he, we got that he was possessed by this, I'm going to say, woman now at the end of the, the, the last season and it's transitioned into this one. And he's going in savage mode with Damon, killing all these people, tying them up. And they got to bring bad guys that's what they were saying but they brought like just a standard female and a boyfriend there and he ended up like whacking a uh, hooking him pulling him up and then dropping him into the water while obviously she's feeding so this woman in in this water is feeding off the bodies that they've been given and uh enzo he took the female he said uh you know like we, we won't give her in or whatever today he took her outside he's obviously strangled her but with a guitar string and he's obviously put wax in her ears as obviously like, that was displayed in that book and it's just small little signs like that that bonnet has found and she's putting two and two together um and it's really clever honestly it's really clever now obviously i just i wonder if it's going to play more that like this story between the book and what they're doing is going to play out even more or whether it was just used for this episode alone to figure out that enzo is a little bit in control and he's trying to feed bonnie he was trying to give her signs to say that you know he's still there and to have hope does that make sense like are we going to continue with this and he's going to drop more hints here and there he's going to read it and follow it and we're going to go through the, the maze or is it just a sign for this episode for bonnie to actually find him to understand that not all hope is lost as she was thinking it was at the start of the episode 
Now, obviously, uh, Stefan had an encounter with Damon, and obviously Damon was saying he switches off and all this, and he's blaming Stefan for the position that he's in, and he's been to hell. And he's not talking about, um, you know, the 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 stone that he, he was in um, last season. Hell, he's talking about like a different hell. That he's seen it. Uh, him and Elena's paths are not the right paths anymore. Elena's in a different one than him, and all that, and he's blaming Stefan for being uh, where he is now. Obviously, because Stefan was the one that transitioned him back in 1864, uh, but, like, obviously, he, he, obviously he doesn't mean that, but he's just saying it, it's one of those things that you just say, and, like, people say stuff in an argument, they don't mean it, but people can also counter it and say, well, you do mean it, it's always there, you're just afraid to say it, but I just think that he's just being mean, because he needs to be mean to get him out, you know, he was saying to Stephen May, it's not your time yet, go, uh, and I think that is a part of, like, he's got his humanity off, and he's trying to protect the people that he loves, and he's trying to not show the emotions that he cares for, Stefan, because maybe if he does, if he's showing all this, like, oh, I love Stefan, please run away, run away, this this woman's going to be like, mate, I'm going to go after him, you know, I'm going to get him, you know, if Damon likes him, we're getting him, so, uh, Alaric, you know, he's took over the armory now, it's like his own possession, he's got loads of people working for him, they're going out, and obviously they've been searching how to, how could someone possibly leave the tomb? Well, I don't know which one of them found it, but obviously if you take out your senses, take out your vision, your hearing, and just walk around with your touch and feel around, you can get through this, uh, like a portal, a wall. Obviously, they've walked through. There's loads of ancient artifacts in there. But like Larry was saying, what's strange is, uh, usually something of this old, the natural earth, it would have like destroyed some of it or like wrecked it, marked it. But it hasn't. It's all preserved perfectly. And I wonder if it, that is because it's been locked in like a magical spell. Or whether it's not really that old that's been put in there. And you know, someone's been collecting them. And I wonder if they have some sort of tie into the woman that's just come out of the pool. Do you know what I mean? So that, that that's going to be a good one to pursue. Like I said, that woman's kind of shown a little bit of interest in Alaric. I think she's good looking, me actually. I think they'd be, uh, they'd be banded together, obviously. Like, Alaric uh, has moved back, kind of nice. said to Caroline, go, you moving with Stefan, I'm moving this house, you know. You, I want you to be happy, and one day I want to be happy as well. So that's good, man. The guy wants to get uh, another female in his life. He deserves it. And uh, I'm just happy that the kids are okay. Obviously, that girl went to kill them. Seems like it. I actually have no idea what she was doing, but she ended up getting caught with Caroline biting her own tongue and killing herself, which was mad. Um, I just think this episode was great. It had lots of twists and turns, kept you guessing the whole way. I think it was a good introduction, obviously, into season eight. And if you're a first time viewer of the show, it's even better because, I mean, after watching that, you got to surely want to watch the next one. Uh, I'm trying to figure out whether Damon is trying to do the right thing by turning his humanity off to protect the ones that he loves, or, like I said, if he's just turned it off and he's just enjoying going around killing everybody. So, again, that's another one. That woman looked absolutely sick at the end. You know, I can't wait to see what she's got in store for us. We've got 15 more episodes left. They'll be coming to the channel shortly. Thanks very much for clicking on the video. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.